Uh, back in Movie Wars on Teams. This will be fun. Uh, Clash of Demon Head back again. Uh, playing Second Reel. Uh, we get the rematch that we wanted. Uh, it, different circumstances. It's not necessarily a we want to beat the team that beat us anymore. It's more, hey, friendly scrimmage with teammates. Uh, so this will be fun. Um, we've only ever lost to Second Reel in concept. So we really only ever lost to champions. Uh, so hopefully this little revenge run we have can be a bit of that, a bit of uh, avenging both of the losses we have. So who knows? You know, the last time we played them was our third, or not even third, our second, second. match ever in the team. Uh, and I think both of us and most people would agree, we've come a long way since then. I a definitely can agree. <laughs> Very uh, different so- team. So this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting match. This is gonna be a fun one, and yeah, good luck to you guys. But hopefully, better luck to us. Manners make it, man. Let's play. So this is the first time uh, since our title defense that we've been together. Uh, I played with Boatman during the mix-up, and you played with Jeff. That was a uh, fun times. Uh, yeah. We're Kingsmen now, so this will be different. This will be cool. Yes, it's good to be back in the uh, saddle, teaming up with you again. So. Uh... I know that they say that they want to do good. We want to do good. We all just want to uh, have a good, fun match, and one of us will win. Hopefully us, but hey, we'll see. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It is Multiplex Movie Warzone, and we got a great match for you tonight. It is the Clash at Demon Head going up against former team champions, second reel, uh... Part of the same faction now, the Kingsmen. Uh, kind of a, a wild twist. I don't know if anybody from last year would have seen that coming, uh, but kind of crazy. On the desk tonight, we have Mr. Tim Bracala. Tim, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm the only like non Kingsman related affiliate here, and uh, you all disgust me, uh, yeah. frankly. But. Uh, in all reality, both of these teams are really good. Second real former champions. Uh, Matt Queller, a delight as always. And Thomas Eanes, a man, a few words. And then Coho and Cam just, you know, like, they, they they said it. They've only lost the champs. And one of those champs being second real. I think this is going to be great. I think this is going to be a very entertaining match. Uh, you've kind of got almost complete opposite teams in some respects, not just in terms of taste, but in terms of taste and in terms of a lot of other aspects, you know, Clash always comes in very, very fiery, very on edge, where second reel tend to be a little bit more chill of a team. So, you know, it's, it's all about dynamics here, uh, but let's just bring them in. So introducing her, coming to bring, representing the Kingsman with a record of four wins three defeats representing the Kingsman. It is Caleb the King Coho and Cameron the Conductor Hole. This is what fiery and on edge looks like, right? A rock. And introducing second and in the ring, if I'm not mistaken, with six wins, two defeats. Also representing the Kingsman now is the former team champions, Matt Casual Chaos Queller and Thomas the Turn Kings. It is second reel. So, gentlemen, without further ado, uh, we're going to get started with round one. Round one's going to work like this. You get a light right, you get a bonus question. Uh, so we will get started with the first question, which is going to come in the category of action adventure. What John Woo directed action film stars John Travolta and Christian Slater? <clears throat> Did you forget your board? I forgot my have my board in front of me, so I, have I already have mine ready. It says real. It says clash. I'm ready to take score. See, you're, you're more prepped than me. Oh my god! This is the I second, have, also I'm the second time we've been on the desk five, today together. Four, three, two, one. <clears throat> myself, Let's go to the comments. Broken arrow and coho. I said face off. And Wolfman. I said blowout. And Matt. We got a broken arrow. Second reel starting off two to zero as we get into the next question. Next question is in the category of sci fi fantasy. Pan's Labyrinth takes place in what? 
In what country? In what country? I love it when I cut out right at the end of the question. That's the best. The perfect timing as always, Tim. As always. Uh, it wasn't quite as perfect as your freeze-up at the beginning of the uh, Multiplex Awards. I, I went it. back and watched my frame jump in. Five, four, three. It was pretty great. Two, one. Ten times where I just appear on screen. Uh, we'll start with Holzman. Spain. And Thomas. I asked in Germany. And Matt. I said France. And Coho. Spain. Okay, so it is two to two. Uh, all tied up, no perfect rounds. As we get into the next question, which is going to come in the category of directors. Who directed Splash? Have you ever uh, made a big splash? Um... I'm pretty sure that's what happened uh, when I entered the admin chat. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fair. I think you entered it before I did, though. I did. I entered it before you did it, and I don't think you saw like some of the things that happened. Some of the splashes that you Four, made. <laughs> three, two, one. Head down. I apologize to Kane McMillan. Uh, we will go to uh, Matt. Ron Howard. And Thomas. Ron Howard. And Cohen. I totally just guessed Ron Howard. And Wolfman. Why does that move from like 1972, right? <laughs> Ron Howard. I understood that reference. Uh, clean sweep. All right, guys. Your next question is in mystery slash thriller. What 40s thriller centers around two young men who murder an acquaintance? To, or I'm sorry. Let me start over. What 40s thriller centers around two young men who murder an acquaintance to prove their moral superiority? I got a little <clears throat> thing in my throat and then I fumbled on the word. I had just had to start over to get it right. That's all right. You're... But but Cody can fix that in post, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, he good, has, perfect. He has like Photoshop for YouTube videos. We call that video shop. Got it, perfect. He... No, I, I, I know you. <laughs> Let's go to Coho. Uh, I just guessed Strangers on a Train. And Tommy. No blank boards. I also said Strangers on a Train. And I guessed Dial M for Murder. And Matt. Rope. Rope is correct. Matt. I was between oh, rope and rope. Rope. A train. That is what Rope is about. I should have said Rope. All right, we're getting to your next question. Category of scores and soundtracks. Who performed the title song for the film Despicable Me? Uh, this movie slaps. I don't necessarily agree, but I also think, I think Minion Fatigue is a real thing. I like this movie and I like the sequel, but I, everything else I'm not about. Five, four, three, which two. One. I'm just tired of the minions at the end of the day. Like That's Let's go to Holtzman. I know he did music for the rest of them. Pharrell Williams? And Matt. I just wrote Pharrell. That is acceptable. Thomas? Oh, I said Katie Perry. And Coho. Pharrell Williams. Correct. So uh, we are back tied up at 6-6, six to six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's what I have as well. All right, guys. <clears throat> Next question is in 70s. In 1976's A Star is Born, what industry is Esther trying to succeed in? Um, yeah, I don't want to say anything. That's fair. Well, I don't want to miss a thing. That's an arrow. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. I like it. Asleep. One. Pen down. It's from an awful movie. Let's go to Coho. Uh, I said the music industry. And Thomas. I also said the music industry. And Matt. Music industry. And Wolfman. Music industry. Clean sweep again. I just almost started singing Shallow and I was afraid that was going to give it away. So. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> it's the uh, same movie. Your, next, your penultimate question category movie release date. What year was Identity released? 
Uh, I have not seen this one. What? If you want to sing Shallow Now, you can. No. <laughs> and everyone's going to be sad now. In the shallow. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Thomas. Oh, three. And Coho. 2005. And Wilson. I also said 2003. And Matt. I also said 2003. 2003 is correct. Oh, five, which walked the line. 10 to 9. Getting into uh, your final question, Ken. Yes, it's in the category of recent releases. Bombshell centers around the behind the scenes of what television network? Oh my God. <laughs> um, you've been on TV. Uh, actually, I have. Uh, yeah. You know, there were these reels back in the 1960s. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's go to go. I don't like what that implies. Fox News. You should know what that implies. I know what that implies. And we will go to Holtzman, allegedly. Fox News. And Thomas. Fox News. And Matt. Fox News. All correct. So it is 12 to 11 as we go into round two. Round two is going to work like this. We're going to get five different questions from five different categories. Uh, you're going to get a chance to get it right. You get two points, multiple choice. You get one point, or if you get it wrong, other player gets a chance to steal. Categories we have on our lovely duo tonight are Planet of Disney live action and 21st century live action musicals, which are Clash of Strengths. Uh, Christopher Nolan and 90s horror, which is second real strength. We also have music, actors and actresses, Nolan, com sorry, comedy, and two guys. So, our uh, second reel, you have the one point lead 12 to 11. Would you like to spin first or defer? Second, right? Yeah. Okay. Second. So, this will be Clash's spin. Gonna grab water. Fucking 2003 is gonna bug me. And you land on 90 horror. Would you like to see I that? think we should probably spin that again. Uh, I was going to say keep it. Uh, yeah, it's spinning up. As um, much as we studied it. Sure. By watching the Santa Claus. And you land on your strength of fandom. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I watched the Shaggy Dog for this. Fandom. You run fandom. It's true. I will let you take these questions as I put them in front of you. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate that. <clears throat> Doing a little rope a dope like I did today. Huh? Yeah, that gave me a good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea. <laughs> there you are. Rope -a dopes who didn't know rope. All right, guys. Are you ready for your questions in Disney live action fandom? Sure. Yes, sir. All right. Your first question In Sky High, what animal can magenta turn into? It's a guinea pig. Good. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your second question. Who plays Katie Nana, the disgruntled nanny that stops working for the banks in Mary Poppins? Oh, God. <clears throat> Think about the possibility of a cast question from this movie. Multiple choice? Yeah, multiple choice, bud. Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Gloria Stewart, B, Josephine Hull, C, Elsa Lanchester, or D, Shawnee Wallace. A sounded familiar. I'll trust you because I have nothing on this one. A, final answer. That is incorrect. Second real chance for a one-point steal. Your options again are A, Gloria Stewart, B, Josephine Hull, C, Elsa Lanchester, or D, Shawnee Wallace? I don't think it's A. <laughs> uh, I don't know uh, gut was going C, but what do you think? Yeah, it's B and C were the ones that stood out to me, so. Five, four, pick one, three. C, final answer. That is correct. Nice. Nice point. Well done. All right, Clash, your next question. 
What is the name of the summer camp the kids are sent to in heavyweights? I watched the first 30 minutes of this today. It's Camp Hope. Final answer. That is correct for two points. You better be finishing it when we're done. It's hard when you're a fat kid. Finish that movie. All right, Tim, I just want to make sure I've got score right. I've got Clash with 15, second roll with 12, or with 13. Yep, 13. Okay. All right, guys, next question. How many fandom Disney live action films has John Turtletaub directed? So both National Treasures and The yep. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Yep. I don't think I can name another one. I, don't I, think, think, it's I, just, I think it's just those three. Yep. So three then, right? Yeah. Three final answer. That is incorrect. Chance for a two point steal, second reel. Yeah, you want to go four? Four, final answer. That is correct for two points. Morphine, uh, the both national treasure, uh, Sorcerer's Apprentice, and Cool Running. Mm. Oh, I did not know you cool and I forgot you did that one. All right, so with that steal, reel ties it up. As we get into the last question for Clash. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the horrific creature Alice must slay in Alice in Wonderland? The Jabberwocky. Yeah. Final answer. That is correct for two points. So it is 17 to 15 as we get into a second real spin. Spin's gonna land on a free respin. Two thousands. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I feel not. I mean, I feel like we could do uh, pretty good with that. Um, I mean, there's only one or two that we wouldn't want since left. So, you think it's worth the risk to spin again and get something better, or you think we just stick with this? I'm gonna go with your gut on this one. I think we can do. I think we can do pretty good two thousands. Stick with it. So you're keeping it, okay? Yeah. I'll give you your questions in two thousand. I'll, I'll bring the wheel on. <clears throat> First question, category of two thousands. What film industry job does Jack Black's character have in the holiday? Oh, he is a. Um... Film composer. Uh, film composer, final answer. That is correct for two points. I see. Your next question. What is the animal-based name of Angelina Jolie's character in Wanted? Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, I have a guess, but I don't want to guess. Uh, multiple choice. Right. Yeah. Multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice options are A, Greyhound, B, Jackrabbit, C, Fox, D, Viper. Fox is what I was thinking. Yeah, either that or 23. Let's mm. go with your gut. Okay. Uh, Fox, final answer. That is correct for one point. Next question. Who directed Idiocracy? That's going to be uh, Mike Judge. Mike Judge, yeah. I was trying to get there. Correct for two points. And your penultimate question. What is the name of Sam's dog in Transformers? <laughs> Mojo? That sounds familiar. How confident are you? Yeah, but if it's something like Jojo or... Five. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Choice options are A, Brutus, B, Mojo, C, Bowser, D, Joey. B, final answer. That is correct for one point. That's all right. And your final question, what 2000s biopic 
chronicles the making of the film Hell's Angels. Isn't that, um, that's in the aviator, right? Five. Uh, repeat the question. All right. So the first repeat. What 2000s biopic chronicles the making of the film Hell's Angels? Actually sounds right. Yeah, because they, they shot it and then he found about, about the sound technology and they had to refilm all the stuff to use the sound recording. Yep, so uh, the aviator, final answer. That is correct for two points. Good job, man. What do you have to score at? I have 23 to 17. Okay. I messed up and actually gave Clash two. Okay, and now I've got it, yeah. 23. Oh, wait, no, I want it right the first time. 23 to 17. Okay, we're good. 23 to 17. Uh, as we get into round three, round three is going to work like this. Each team is going to get to pick one for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. Uh, category today we'll have to pick from tonight are Adam Sandler, animation, directors, 1980s, comedy, romance. Mystery thriller and coming of age slash teen. We're gonna let them pick their categories right now and we will get back to you right now. Okay, we are back going into round three. Our competitors have picked with the one with their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. Second reel picked their one in eighties, they're two in coming of age slash or sorry, they're two in comedy, they're three in mystery thriller, they're four in Adam Sandler. Whereas uh Clash has picked their one in comedy, they're two in directors, they're three in coming of age slash teen, and they're four in animation. So uh since Clash are behind, I will start with them. Uh, so, Holton, your one pointer in the category of comedy. Who stars in The Odd Couple, Some Like It Hot, and Avanti? Jack Lemon. Correct for one point. Okay. Uh, we stick with you for your two pointer. Uh, over to Coho. Mm -hmm. What was the most recent film directed by Matthew Vaughn? Kings win the Golden Circle. That is correct for two points. I was like, oh, oh it's fandom. I was just <laughs> double checking in my head. Okay. Uh, now we will still stay with Clash for their three-pointer. Uh, we'll tie it up in the category of mm -hmm. In Stand By Me, Gordy tells the story of a young man called Larda who takes part in what type of competitive eating competition? It's a pie-eating contest. All you. Final answer. That is correct for three points. Oh one of one of the most nauseating scenes in film history. Absolutely. <laughs> all right, so we are all tied up. So we're going to go over to second reel for their one pointer in the eighties. Tim, you want to your way? That is going to Thomas, correct? That's uh, correct. Yeah. All right, Thomas. Your question in eighties for one point. What is the name of the man who trains Daniel Larusso La in the Karate Kid? Mister Miyagi. That is correct for one point. Okay, so we go Shelby back over to first name because there's dispute over what it is. <laughs> we are not making name the first name. We just need it in the eye. Uh, so we go over to Clash. Uh, animated, which they must hit in order to stay in the game. So, we still have all three repeats left. Oh, yes, yes, you still have your three repeats. I thought you were going to say you sold your three pointers. Like, wait, no, that's not. Right. No, no. no, no, okay. no, no, no. We'll, we'll take another three points. Oh, sure, yeah. absolutely. Okay, Clash, your four pointer. Category of animated. What animated film centers around a boy who, after his mother disappears, is sent to a foster home with other orphans where he learns the meaning of trust and true love? Foster homes. Okay. Uh, it's not okay. anything Disney. That's not anything no. Pixar. It's no. not anything DreamWorks. Uh, box rolls? Is that Foster Home? No, no. no. It's the with trolls. <laughs> repeat. First repeat. 
What animated film centers around a boy who, after his mother disappears, is sent to a foster home with other orphans where he learns the meaning of trust and true love? Is triple is that what Triplets of Belleville is about? Uh possibly uh we'll keep that in our mind until we can think of something else. Two. Repeat the question. Second repeat. We have one left. What animated film centers around a boy who, after his mother disappears, is sent to a foster home with other orphans where he learns the meaning of trust and true love? Trust and true love. I'm like literally just going through every animated movie I can think of right now. Uh, and I think, like, it's not. It, is it something Ghibli? That would be in your department, not mine. Yeah. I don't um, think there's a Ghibli movie about that. I don't honest. believe there is either. More. Jesus, we're in the last one. Two. Repeat, repeat one. question. The final repeat. What animated film centers around a boy who, after his mother disappears, is sent to a foster home with other orphans where he learns the meaning of trust and true love? It's not. It's not. That's not what The Illusionist is about. I don't think that's definitely no. not what Celeste or whatever that one is. Ernest and Celestine, though. Yeah, it's not that. Because that's a bear. Is uh, that my life is a zucchini? Uh, that, that might be it. My life is a zucchini, final answer. That is correct! Oh, oh, baby! I love, I love you. I would have watched that, but Doc switched his Secret Santa movie for me to, uh, to something. Holy shit. That is correct. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. No <laughs> All right. This so, is Jim Blake Nelson all over again. I don't like this. <laughs> so that brings their total up to uh, uh, 27. I have 27 to uh, 24. All right. So we will move over to Queller for his two pointer in the category of comedy. <laughs> Your question is. What is the name of Peter's gym that competes with Globo Gym in Dodgeball, a true underdog story? Average shows. That is correct for two points. So I believe, Boatman, if they hit either of their next questions, they win. Okay. All right, guys, your three-pointer in the category of Miss. Oh, you cut out in, in the category of mystery thriller. I hadn't gone away yet, but all right. All right, guys, your question. What 90s film centers around a kidnapped boy who strikes up a friendship with an escaped convict on the run from the law? One of my favorites, A Perfect World. Final answer. And your winner. Second real natural casual chaos queller and Thomas Bernie. So that was a fantastic match with a fantastic round. So we're gonna go uh, post match interview, starting with our unfortunate second place finishers. Uh, Coho Holtzman, uh, you had a, round two is kind of what tripped you up there at the end of the day. That. Yeah. Category just didn't quite work out for you, but you had an excellent round four, not missing a sing or round three, not missing a single question in there. Uh, how do you feel overall? I, I feel like there's some ring rust. John Turtletop. Yeah. I feel like there's a little I ring think rust. Literally, from. John Turtletop. That's a four point swing, and they have to hit their four, and it right. very I, much I, changes. I mean, the there's also 2003 for me in round one. Uh, there's there's a couple misses uh, that we have where it's just like ah, uh, that one is just from not playing or not looking at that uh, recently. just uh, So, yeah, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I think we just kind of woke up in round three. Round three is where we, like, started to get the swing of it again. Uh, and, yeah, we'll, we'll come back next time we're scheduled. Uh, we'll, we'll play better the next one. And, yeah, at the and end of the day, still only lost we still teams. only lose to the two champs, <laughs> the last two champs, and the only two teams that have beaten us. So, uh, yeah, as long, I'm, I'm perfectly fine losing the second reel. Yeah. At the end of the day, that's I, a win for the Kingsman. So. That four-point pull, I think, no matter what happens, we're so happy with that. <laughs> that was an impressive pull. So we're going to go over now. Uh, to our winners tonight, moving on to a number one contenders match, Thomas and Matt. 
Thomas, Matt, how do you feel overall? I uh, feel really good. That, that, that was a really good game. Um, great questions all around. Uh, I, I swear Coho is the master of the pool now, I think, at, at this point. <laughs> that, that, that was amazing. But, yeah, it's just, uh, like I said, round two, uh, some of those questions didn't quite go their way. But, yeah, they played great. Uh, Thomas, I think we did play pretty good. Yeah. You not the rust you, off. You hit everything in round three. Uh, you didn't miss a question in round two. Went to multiple choice a couple times. Uh, yeah, you didn't miss a thing, single thing in round two. You basically, outside of the first round, you guys did not miss a question. So, excellent game all around, in my opinion. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they played great, though, like you said. Uh, that was terrific round three to watch. My heart was pounding out of my chest. Um, but, yeah, uh, we're going to another number one contenders match. Uh, that should be uh, fun. We'll be facing the winner of either Wild Stallions or Light It Up, uh, one of those teams you have not faced before. The other, I believe, you faced, like, this time last year. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that should be really interesting. I know Wild Steins, that's definitely one of the teams who we've kind of always wanted to play, see how we'd stack up against them. So, yeah, should be interesting. We'll definitely watch that match closely. Absolutely. So thank you to both uh, Matt and Thomas. Uh, going back over to Tim on the desk. Oop, did not mean to do that. Tim on the desk. Tim, uh, thoughts on the match? Uh, yeah, no, I literally was like – sitting here going, ah, oh, I knew the answer. I'm like, they're not going to know this. I don't think they've seen it. And then Koho goes, my life is a zucchini. And I went, oh my God, literally as like, it was pretty great. That was a great moment. You have no idea as a host, how hard it was to keep a <laughs> poker face during that. <laughs> but <laughs> that being said, that great moment aside, like you said, Thomas and Matt absolutely crushed it at a great round one getting that um first uh getting the lead in round one being able to spin second in round two that really paid off for them keeping 2000s really paid off for them they played the strategic game and they played uh the better game at the end of the day and it was it was great 29 total points which is yeah. an excellent score yeah uh pretty it's not the record but it's like yeah it's literally one point away from the round three uh three round points record so yeah they killed it excellent game on their part yeah all right well uh thank you to both teams thank you to mr tim Bercala for hosting on the desk uh this is multiplex movie war john i'm your host caleb bye bye boys have fun storming the castle think it'll work it would take a miracle bye, -bye. <laughs>